do.
Can we can we give ourselves a big, 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 big applause, please? Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Yeah, Christian, um, I just, yeah, Christian, I just saw the procession, like, I don't know, I guess, uh, I think I got a very big hand of applause, because what it, what it just did, like, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to follow them, I follow, I went around a few times, but I didn't complete, every time I went, I didn't complete, and the one I like, again, is like, the one that, like, Christian, you know the one like people were standing in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and what were they doing? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a cultural display telling the people who we are. Yeah. So it's a singing, like normally that's where people back home. All right. So the as well. Yeah, and I saw them like really moving their bodies. Like I think you said it previously. Like yeah. they moved their body. Like anyhow. Like yeah. So what yeah. do you make of that? Wow. Well, I think it was just awesome. Yeah? It was awesome. Yeah, I yeah, think... I said, I mean, like, we know how to move our bodies, we know how to shake. So, it, it is an example of what I was just talking about. Ah. Uh, for you, you called it awesome, but I think it was, like, spectacular, and I think I'm a big fan of the GC group because of what they just did. So, um, can I join you guys? Can I no. join the GC group? No problem. Am I? You sure? Very, very sure. So, how do I do that? Well... It's easy becoming a member. It's open to anybody, everyone. Oh, everyone. Everyone. Okay. Uh, it's not just limited to the Kisi people, mm. because we talk about diversity. Yep. So it's a diverse, It's open to anybody. As long as you aspire to become a member of this organization and uh, live up to our values and what we stand for, you are welcome. Okay. So even like if I'm not from the Kisi tribe, can I like I'm from the Loma tribe? Can I join? In fact, we have people that are not even from Lofa County, not okay. even from the Kisi region. Mm. So it's open to anybody. So whether you are from the Loma tribe, from anywhere, even if you come from America, if you are American, anywhere, anywhere from this world, you are welcome. Okay. So um, to everybody who's watching, like, as are you the the secretary for the group? Yes. Okay. So Christian is the secretary for the group. So I'll I'll accept whatever you tell me here. And Christian just said that the group is open to anybody. So if you're watching in America, can you be a part too? Like if you're from America? Sure, that's like, a process for that. Okay, that's a process for that. Okay, thank you, thank you, Christian. Um, before we continue, we would like to urge everybody watching, everybody watching the live to just like, um, courtesy of talk with Roland. I think Roland is doing a good job by showing the live. So what do you have to say? Oh, well, he's always amazing. He's always amazing. Yeah, Roland is always there for us. Whenever we call upon him, he's always there. Not just for us, but for the community. He's a community person. So, like, a big hand of a clap. I mean, a, a clap for him, please. So, can we please clap for DJ Roland? <laughs> Thank you, Roland. Thank you. Yeah, uh, before we move on to the next stage of the program, I would like to call upon Uncle Josh. It is always good to save the best for the last for an acknowledgement. Like, it's the last part of his acknowledgement. So, welcome, Uncle Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Wait, George. Do it here. There you go. Um, look, the acknowledgement, as the MC said, continues, but uh, probably I will say, I will present an apology. There is somebody among us who is very, very significant. And I like that. Everybody wants to know that person. We have a guest among us, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guest, that has traveled from the United States of America to come and be part of this program. And I will reserve this moment because we want all of you to join us to make him feel extremely welcome. 
And that person is nobody but our brother, Benjamin Sisse. Make him feel welcome, please. There he is. If, if, if you have not gone to America, ask me, I will tell you more about how America is. Because I went there and I met him. I will tell you that story later. Thank you. Um, thank you, Brother Benjamin, for coming, for, for coming here. We appreciate your time. You took it away from your family, and we say thank you for joining us today. Okay. We move to a very important part of this program. Look, you don't forget where you come from. You don't forget where you are. We have to respect who we are, where we are, where we come from. So at this stage of the program, we'd like to sing the national anthems for Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Yeah, so we we'll start with Sierra Leone first. Yeah, Sierra Leone first. Which one have you got ready? Okay, um, the DJ just told us that he got Liberia national anthem ready. So can we, so yeah, um, before the, while the DJ is getting ready to play that, song. Can we please rise up on our feet?
place. A big one, big, big one. That's not too big. Thank you very much, Josh. Like, did you learn any of the songs? Did you learn any of the songs of the dance? Oh, uh, I'm still learning it. <laughs> the day like this, like. Um, I saw it. Okay, you need to, you need to go for lesson to to sound after this. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, just a sign of appreciation again. I would just like to throw a little bit of emphasis about the work that was done behind closed doors for this performance. Like, uh, like the question you asked previously, if our organization or if the employer was open to anybody, the answer for that was just saying on the stage, look, we are open to anybody. And I would like to give Saru a special thanks and appreciation for the work she has done. And Saru, she is from India, but because she loves the Kissy people so much, to the point that she has taken up a Kissy name, her name is Sia. So, for those of us that are not from Liberia, Sia from the Kissy tribe, Sia is the first female born to the mother. The second female born is called Kumba. So Saru has been named Sia, and her sister is called Kumba. So, so it's just an appreciation for what she has done because she has always been with us. Thank you. So, so like, was that just for female Sia and For male, for the first born, it's called Sa. Second is Tamba. Ter Faya. And it goes on. Fourth, Fala. Yeah, but well, it's just to give you an insight of how we name, and how we do naming in our tribe, in our tradition. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Christian Cohen's That's it. Um, before we continue, I just need to talk for it. We're going to call on one, one of the kind. This guy is, um, he knows the history of the Kissy people. Um, as I learned from Christian, the guy is doing um, Kissyology. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kissyology. So, yeah, um, before any time to waste, ladies and gentlemen, can we please welcome Mr. Samuel Sakama to give us a brief history of Kissyology. Southern Guinea, so it's, it was a kingdom before, and due to colonialism, we got boundaries. So people are formed across the three countries in the region, the manner of Um But in, in terms of Australia, so I guess this idea, when our people move, they move with their culture, and this idea of Yopilo Kisia probably started here in South Australia um, in 2007. So one of our sisters was getting married, uh, six Siaregan. So what we do in our tribe or in our culture is when there's marriage, uh, when there's death, when there's sad news, um, and when there's newborns, when people, when people give birth, so those are the times we come together. We come together doing marriage, uh, doing childbirth, and doing sad, sad news, there's a funeral. Um, so, 
that where did the startup started, kickstart the Opilo here in South Australia in 2007, and that's over a decade ago. So in 2008, I guess the our brothers and sisters of in Perth, the WA, they saw the the good things that were happening here, and they started the Opilo chapter in WA. In 2009, again in South Australia, we have one of our brothers who unfortunately lost his life. Um, Mr. Lucky Tamba, so we will forever remember him. He's one of the um, sort of the bones behind this whole idea. And so when he passed away, that brought our people together. And after that, so they they already had a, a wedding in 2007. And in 2009, when he passed away, they came together. They're like, okay, why not just forge together and continue? Um, it's sort of 2000. 13, we had an official launch of the OPLO here again in SA. So, South Australia, um, give yourself a big hand of applause. You've been, thank you very much. You've been behind this idea. Um, so, in 2013, we had a launch in this hall in South Australia. In 2014, our brothers and sisters in New South Wales, in Sydney, they started a chapter. And in that same 2014, we came together and thought, why not have a national and federal body? So that year, the federal idea of the Opilo PCI Australia was born as well, in 2014. So in 2016, we started a chapter in Victoria, so Victoria Pika. So that's South Australia, WA, New South Wales, and Victoria. Um, and today, where are we today? In 2019, 2020, Queensland is coming on. So, by next year, we'll have Queensland fully established and they can be part of the UMPILO. And also, in terms of global, so we've reached across uh, to the United States with our brothers and sisters who have had a UMPILO since the 1980s. So, most of the model you see here is being copied from them, from America. And we were pleased this year to have someone representing from the United States who will be talking to us later. Um, so we now we have the two, I guess, the two federal sort of federal in Australia and then Jupilo, the Jupilo USA working together. And we hope to take this idea, this an idea of Jupilo Global. So one day we might have brothers and sisters in Asia and as well as in Europe. Um, so that's the past, a bit of the present and then a little bit of the future as well, looking at something going global. So thank you very much. I don't want to take much of your time. I hope this was a practical kissology in two minutes. <laughs> Um, thank you, Brother Sakama. I told you guys, this guy, this guy is, just, the guy is a PC scholar. The man don't tell them about people. Um, yeah, um, okay. So, we find it time to waste. Um, We're we'll finding time to waste. We're going to call on Stephanie. Stephanie to give us a brief introduction of the keynote speaker. Stephanie. Now we wait for 